All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing the state of Diablo 4 and having a first look at the season of Construct from a, let's say, casual perspective. Um, I've played a lot of the game. I wouldn't class myself as something like a hardcore, dedicated Diablo player. Maybe once upon a time I was, but currently, not so much. Um... I do own the game on PlayStation 5 and PC for the sake of today's video. We are going to be taking a look at the PlayStation 5 version. So we've got this here. Welcome to the season of Construct. Beneath the scoring sands, an apparatus created for good has been overtaken by demonic evil. You must regain control of it before the demon unleashes its power on Sanctuary. So we've got all new quest, line, and boss. Recover the elemental apparatus to defeat the demon Malfas. I think I'm saying that. Am I saying that right? All new dungeon, conquer, hazard-filled vaults and loot their treasure. All new seasonal companion. I'm your companion with 39 new powers and modifiers. All new season journey, conquer, seven chapters and challenges. Seven new aspects, six new items and some new cosmetics pretty standard stuff i did play the last season i did quite enjoy it um i got to level 79 before i actually got bored of it and season one i did a barb to 55 wasn't impressed season two i got to 79 but the main focus of today's video is that people are very unhappy with d4 and the current state of it and season four so rather than just, you know, listen to hearsay and other such sources, I thought, you know, let's just check it out ourselves. Let's have a look at it from a bit of a semi-casual perspective and let you guys and girls know, you know, my thoughts and feelings on it and maybe give you a bit of, sorry, a better understanding of whether you want to bother playing this season, Okay. I'm going to create a new character. I think I'm actually going to go with the Rogue. Now, for anyone that hasn't played the game before, the character creation is not overly amazing in this game. You get a few pre-made uh, character models here, and you can actually customize them to some degree. It's not amazing, um, I won't lie. It's okay. Um, just a couple of hairstyles, a bit of makeup and stuff like that. I'm just going to get this set up here. So you've got a bit of facial hair and whatnot. Um, let's have a look. Take the makeup off. Not into makeup myself. If you are, you know, each to their own. It's not really my bag, to be honest. Um, i remove the markings here. There is a way to remove the tattoos, I believe. There we go. So, we are going to skip the campaign. Just call me my character. Yeah. Box. Okay. So, we're going to skip the campaign and we're going to go in here now. Um, so yeah, let's see what this is about. Seasonal Realm or Eternal Realm. Clearly, we're going to be doing the Seasonal Realm. The whole intention of the video is to have a look at the season. Generally speaking, some people recommend doing World Tier 2 for a bit of extra XP. I, I, I don't find it's any better, to be honest. I generally find that staying on World Tier 1 until you get to around level 50 is probably better. It's a little bit quicker to get through the content and whatnot. So we've got the intro video here. I'm going to check this out and just see what it's actually saying. Ah, welcome, Wanderer. Welcome. I sense that recent events have brought you to me. These are strange times indeed. Though many fear the inexplicable, I deal in it. And you, you will seek answers. This will lead you to the knowledge you desire. Legend state this room. Is so this arcane construct is the new seasonal mechanic, I believe. A little bit like the vampiric Mighty powers weapon, from the previous the season, if you indeed played it. For the one strong enough to control it. But be warned. 
for the construct is buried deep beneath Kegistan in the ancient vaults of Zoltan Kul. Untouched for centuries, they are protected by deadly traps of Kul's own design and guarded by his mechanical horns. Interesting. But the architect Zoltan Kul overestimated. Just to let everybody know, the thoughts and feelings here in this video are my own. Um, I've watched other people's opinions on it, but I generally like to make my own mind up about these things. So this is going to be my spin on it from a semi-casual perspective to see if indeed this season is worth delving into. in the depths. Take the rune if you dare. Spooky. It's not a bad little video there. So here we are. Let's just see where have we actually started on the map. So G Cull. It's quite interesting. So we've not started in Cobra Shad. So it seems that a lot of our um waypoints from last season and such are still unlocked, which is good to see. We are going to be doing a ranged character this season. I did try in the original season to, to do a ranged rogue. It didn't work out very well. Um, it was quite poor, I won't lie. Now, I do have some points here to spend as pretty much... Um, obviously, if you do... I can't remember the name for it. I think it's renowned. There's stuff you can do that unlocks um, attributes for future characters. So for anyone starting out from like a fresh account, you won't have these 10 points just to let you know about that. So we're gonna have a look here. Forceful arrow, fires a powerful arrow enemies. Eight damage, every third cast makes them vulnerable. Okay. Puncture, throw blades and heart seeker. Six enemies dealing eight damage, increase your critical, stri uh, critical strike chance. We'll give that a go, okay. And we'll have a look here. So we gain a bit of attack speed and increase critical strike damage. The enemy takes we give five percent for four seconds. Ricochets to an additional enemy. That might be good to start off with. Obviously, we're only low level. A barrage of five arrows. What's this one? Rapid fire. So we'll take that. Rapid fires of 5%. We'll, we'll go with sort of a crit build here, I think. Um, we're not going to be looking up any builds or any leveling specialist stuff. We're going to be just going into this just purely from my perspective. Um, I generally do my own builds and I want to play a game. 15 energy per cast of rapid fire when damage is a vulnerable enemy. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Shadow step. Caltrops. Dash. Hell traps are quite good. We'll go with another crit modifier there. Okay, not bad. Take like an extra point in rapid fire. So uh, let's have a look. A separated wound. Investigate the commotion in G Cull. So we're going to move over here to the first. I believe it's the first Keep seasonal moving, quest. Traveler. It's a bad time to be in Geakul. Okay, let's have a look here. Who do we speak to? Old Seg. Possession. Demon thought. You see those people? They listen to the old man's stories. The vaults, the sorcerer, the treasure. So, so much for that. Okay. Whoa. Send them off, what the hell? Another one gone. Pile of rope. Mistress rune. Mistress rune stone. Let's have a look here. Quest item. So Slayer and Onyx rune looks almost horadric, but older, more refined. Okay. Interesting. I found this rune on the ground. Do you know what it is? Vaults are full of those things. 
Folk brought them to town and now there's demons in their heads. Look at the markings. Mage clans, bad luck. You wanna help? Get that thing out of town, put it back where it came from. Don't get killed. So what I will say is I'd really enjoyed the sort of mini storyline that came with the last season. We are actually just going to have a little bit of a look here at the the seasonal rewards. So, free rewards. We get access to 28 free rewards, including 20 smoldering ashes, 5 we weapon cosmetics, 1 set of roleplay clothing per class, 1 10 portal mount trophy and title. Obviously, the premium passes come with a lot more stuff, but they are rather expensive. Now, we do have enough to get the premium pass, but until i actually see that this season is going to be worth it i don't want to waste the points because the way it works is you can use your points that you accumulate on the battle pass you can indeed use for purchasing future battle passes so in essential uh basically you, you only ever have to purchase one pass um and if you keep the coins on your account or the currency whatever value it is you can pretty much just keep using that and get free battle passes which is rather nice so where do we actually need to go here so we've got to go up here so what we're going to do is look for a teleport nearby uh, this one's a little bit closer so one thing that does annoy me still on this game is if you can see i'm putting a marker down i believe it should be doing this automatically um it's a bit of an oversight on their part destination point has not been found so what we're going to do is we're just going to ride up. Um, so the squares do my power. So we might just get a little bit of a level here, actually. So we've got our Seeker Arrow there on X, which is nice. Got our Rapid Fire on Square. Um, what am I actually supposed to do with these? Supposed to blow them up. So we leveled up straight away there. Beautiful. Now, obviously, there are going to be subtle edits within this. You're not going to be watching me travel everywhere. Um, but sound up in the comments. I mean, if you want to see just pure and raw, uh, unedited uh, playthroughs. Um, and stuff like that. I mean, I'm quite happy to do it. Energy. But for the sake of the viewer, it's probably better if I do skip out the traveling. We've got our caltrops there, which slows enemies. We're already quite powerful here. Because of our seasonal points that we got. Which is quite nice to start off with a few spells and a bit of power as opposed to just starting off with nothing i'm out of energy we're out of energy here we do cal drops here slow them hit them with the rapid fire hit them with the uh seeker shot kill this little boss thing here now i, need more I did originally want to play this on pc l1 for a pop but I will be honest, the game feels in your debt, stranger. like it's completely programmed for controller. The way the spells work and whatnot, it really doesn't feel um, like it's actually made for a mouse and keyboard. Sadly, um, it does feel very, um, very tuned for controller. And even on PC, it does actually feel better on a controller. It's kind of strange, but you do get used to it. They've actually zoomed out the viewpoint time. a lot more this season, which is a big, big change. I've only just noticed that. I don't know if it's mount dependent. Or if the viewpoint has actually been scaled out further. Do that, it was yeah. one of the real drawbacks for me um, when I first played the game. The viewpoint on this game, it could be very zoomed in at points and it, it felt very claustrophobic and not very fun to play. To For an action RPG, really, you want uh, you do want to be zoomed out a little bit more. Um, kind of stuck here, actually. It's not fun. Just check these out. I 
need more energy. As you can see, we've got nine potions as well. Generally, when you start a new account on the game, you'll only start with one. But as you build renowned and unlock things, you do get account wide unlocks for potions and other such little bits and bats. Like, obviously, if you've not done the story, you won't have the mount and stuff like that. So just bear that in mind. If you are new coming in to this season, I'm just going to mount back up here. They've also changed the sprint button to circle. It used to be right trigger, I believe, last season. It did feel a little bit strange. I'm going to move on to the quest point here. This must be it. So, this is one of the new mechanics for the season, a vault. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a few follow-up videos. Yeah, the viewpoint is definitely more zoomed out. I much prefer it, actually. It's a big improvement. It's actually, actually very good. Um, the combat feels not as clunky as well. I mean, so there are some plus points here straight off the bat that other YouTubers really haven't been looking into. Uh, the viewpoint being a little bit further out is a big plus in my eyes. Uh, the combat doesn't feel... Like sometimes casting caltrops and stuff in between. So say I was doing this, and I, and I went to cast caltrops, it'd be very, very clunky, I would find. Um, it does feel a little bit cleaner. Possibly had an update to the netcode. I think we do have um, an ability to unlock here. We'll just put some points in rapid fire for now. Um, let's have a look here. What else have we got? Dark Shroud, surround yourself with five protective shadows, get an 8% damage reduction. That could be quite good. Smoke grenade, concealment. Now we'll take poison trap. Always a good one. Bit of AOE. Try out our poison trap. When we find some enemies. I need more time. So I'm vastly. Uh, preferring the more zoomed out things. So we're going to try and get a few of them grouped up here. We do caltrops, poison trap, and rapid fire. Beautiful. Nice. So I think I'm going to break this up into uh, a few little mini videos. I don't think doing it all in one go. Um, long form content is ideal for a smaller channel like mine but hey who knows send it in the comments let me know uh what style of video you like to watch longer shorter be interested to find out so i could obviously make the best videos possible so caltrop poison trap jump back another caltrop Rapid fire. Now, I will be honest, the ranged rogue did feel great in the lower levels. It was kind of when we got to end game, it kind of fell apart. Uh, it was really bad, actually. So, here we go. So, this is the first seasonal story quest. This must be it. Oh, what's this? Uh oh. Ooh, doing quite a bit of damage. I'm not ready. Uh, we'll do a poison trap. Hell drops. Jumping back. Try and AoE him down. Out of energy. There we go. Nice. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to have a look and see if we got any gear that's worth wearing. So we got some uh, better leggings, indicated by the green number. Some better boots. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. We're getting mobbed. So we're getting some shattered stones here. I don't know if they're a seasonal mechanic. So let's have a look what else we've got here. We've got some better gloves, some better arm wraps, uh, a high DPS crossbow, and a helm. Very nice. So the character's already looking better. A few little bits and pieces here. Already level six. We've definitely adjusted the XP values, which is good to see. So, so far, the positives in my eyes, the viewpoint is definitely uh, better. It was a big stickle point for me. I uh, wasn't happy. 
didn't like it. Just too zoomed in. This for me is a lot better. It feels less clunky. Performance is good. Very stable. No stutters, no uh, lags or anything. We've definitely adjusted some of the runes. I did find that it was very hard when using rapid fire, especially to keep my energy levels up. It was a real struggle. Felt very, very unviable, actually. Um, this feels great, as is right now. Check out this totem. So we've just got to explore this area here. Um, clear markings on that to show that it does cold damage. We've got a blue strider crown. Oh, big upgrade, willpower. Okay. So we can see here, willpower gives us healing received. Overpower damage. Intellect gives us crit chance. Dexterity gives us skill damage, dodge chance. Nice, let's go. And carry on moving down here. And explore the area. Enter the doorway to nowhere. So if you do enjoy today's video and you do want me to do more Diablo 4 season 3 content, I'm quite happy to do that and put my spin on it. If it's something people are interested in watching, so give, if you are interested, give this video a like. And obviously that will identify to me that the content is being enjoyed. Oh my God, I'm slowed. What's going on? Poison trap, very, very good damage. We'll have to see how that continues progressing through the game. We've got some more points to spend here. Let's have a look. We'll probably pop. Knocks down enemies. Yeah, that's good. 10% increased poison damage to standing. 30% chance to reset your imbuement skill. Interesting. What's my imbuement skill? Agility skill. Core skill. Basic skill. Imbuement could be one of the better ones down here. 10% increase stand inside your poison trap. Okay. Um, probably whack a. Um, that should do for now. We're not too fussed about min maxing on our setup here. Oh, we're trapped. We're still caught. Makes your fault. Might be a bolt grade there. Very dark. Very dark there. I couldn't see. So we've got a couple of bowls here and some um, ingredients and mats. So we've got some better gloves and we've got a big, big DPS upgrade there. Always love to see it. So I think for the sake of time, and to keep the video um, I'm low on energy. To a reasonable length, should we say. I'll probably do the introductory or the introduction quest here. Um, do a bit of a summarization and then possibly come back with a part two video. So we'll class this more as uh, sort of a first impressions of season three as opposed to my final verdict on it. Don't have enough energy. Do some more cow traps here. Jump back. Build some energy, rapid fire, mow them down. Beautiful, got some leggings, some more gold. Keep progressing forward, we're following the voice. The voices. My doctor always said, don't listen to the voices, but the game's telling me to do it. Ooh, who's this? It's like a boss. Ready. I'm gonna break his shield off here. Can I kill him? Oh, damn. Whoa! Damn, that damage! Holy moly! 
like a proper did expert <laughs> damage i'm not gonna lie that was kind of crazy actually so red beam equal bad always good to know kind of lost my way a little bit here actually i'm not ready yet hmm i weren't expecting that damage won't lie i need more time So we're not going to be going anywhere near those red beams. They seem pretty powerful. Oh, damn. Need more time. Thought we were going to one-shot me there. So we don't want these to come anywhere near us realistically. There we go. So, looks like we've got one more phase to go. Be careful what, what we're doing here. There we go. We avoided the AOE. Okay. Slightly better mechanics on these uh, mini bosses. Last season, they were kind of just stood there and DPS them down. I'm actually happy that I died on the boss. Actually adds an element of uh, mechanics to the bosses, which was um, a big problem for me last season. There we go. Got some little items here. Let's have a look what we've got. What are you doing in the gate for? Uh, we've got a better helm. What am I doing here? Some better leggings. Some more mats. And we're going to talk to this guy. I believe you are possessed by a demon, mate. A demon? Yes. Yes, I understand. It metastasized faster than I expected. We must... Ah, ah, ah. Stiff joints. Oh, forgive me. I need a moment. I am Ayuzan of Chaldeum. Ooh, Chaldeum mages. Nice. Bit of a throwback to D3 there. Of? It is called Malthus. It has him a few more points to spend as well. Taken it for its own, but it can be removed. Um, have a look here. Put another point in that rapid fire. Poison imbuement. Pretty good. So we could um, apply poison to our weapon. Nice. Mm. I see. And this last I saw it, it was little more than a red mist. If it is able to possess people on the surface, we must act quickly. I okay. see you have a construct strapped to your waist. Hand it to me. It is this. So I think this is explaining now the seasonal mechanic. Charge. All it requires is a governing stone. Okay. Oh, interesting. We got a little pet. The I can't even say that. Shinette cell <laughs> construct is uh, a staunch ally. It cannot be killed, but it can be staggered. Your construct can be customized in your event in the construction tab. You can choose your construct's abilities by assigning governing stones. Okay, okay. It's a little bit like the vampiric powers from last season. So let's just have a look here. So we've got lightning bolt, speed 1.4, launch a bolt of lightning, do 51 damage. She so will assign that as our main ranged governing stone. So there are a plethora of um, abilities here for our little pet, should we call it? Um, just trying to figure out how how to get onto stone type. Okay, damage done by the Spartan skill taunts the enemy. Okay, there's quite a lot to unravel here. This was one of the points that people were complaining about. 
but we will have to dive deeper into it before we can make any sort of assumptions on whether it's going to be good or bad there we are. now follow me i am not the only one who may be in danger now a lot of people were saying that the pets don't really do much damage um it was kind of like a pointless thing but we'll uh we'll just see what this little guy can do see if he brings any value I to my endeavor but not alone i worked alongside another mage zoltan cool so i presume enemy. he's gonna open the door here for us so you've heard of him Hmm. Zoltan Cool was from uh, Diablo 3, so there's a little bit of uh, nostalgia here. Come, if he is not in his study, he will at least have left word there. So maybe Zoltan Cool's in the game. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool, get it? <laughs> right, let's uh, move on here. Um, okay, where, where's he gone? I'm not ready yet. See, little things like this are a little bit annoying. So it says follow him, but we've come through the door and he's nowhere to be seen. And the only way we actually find him is by moving down here. And there's no sort of mark or anything to indicate that. There's a few little things, little nitpicks with stuff like that. Quality of life that I just feel that they're not really hitting the mark on, uh, in my opinion. This hall is rigged with traps. They can be timed and avoided. This is another uh, problem people have been complaining about. But traps were very annoying last season and they and reduced them down, but they've kind of made them a seasonal thing now and I don't understand why they would choose to do that. We'll see how these traps are. Um, okay, that's a bit. I'm not ready yet. It's a bit annoying, not gonna lie. So what are these, what the hell? What are these for, just to slow us down or? That just seems really obnoxious. <laughs> I need more time. Like really, really obnoxious. Right, here we go. Let's see what a little pet does. Yeah, DPS seems a little bit oh, mm, meh. Well done. Didn't really seem to do you much won't. there. I'll be better once we find Sultan. There's definitely some pros and cons so far. Um, study is this way, assuming it's still there. Even for that. I'm just wondering how much value this pet could actually add. I mean, it possibly gets better as it levels up. We'll see as we progress through this season. Obviously, want to give it a fair whack before we write it off as uh, hashtag D4 bad. Hashtag, you know, what everyone says. It seems to be the recurring meme with Blizzard at the moment. Everyone loves to hate on Blizzard as it as it is. Our DPS seems pretty solid so far. Got another bow here, let's have a look. Not really an upgrade. Let's see if these pants are any good. Yeah, they're a little bit better. I'm not ready yet. So we'll just keep progressing. Another pet peeve of mine was the I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. The error speech. There doesn't seem to be a way to disable it. Um In fact, we need to actually check if they've added that. That was one big thing for me um, last season. It was a bit of a pain. Under the sound, there was no... Um, it still doesn't look like they've added it. Um, In-game loop sounds. Um, 
play audio on her uh, on her off oh my god they've added it beautiful right so you still get the words but thankfully they have added that to the game that's a big big win in my eyes you see these little things are not being covered by other youtubers and i just kind of feel that they're quite important to the overall player experience the fact that you couldn't disable her speech was a big sticking point for me i i really didn't understand why they chose to do that and i think it's actually quite great that they've added that so props to blizzard for that thank you that's made me very happy actually yes it was a big thing in WoW as well, when it wasn't in World of Warcraft. It really, 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 really irritated me. Um, I'm, I'm really happy they've done that, actually. I'm just going to carry on progressing through here. I mean, so far, so good. Um, seems okay. We are in the very early stages. So I can't really... That's the study. Speculate on what the end game is going to be like. But I will say season two was a big upgrade on season one for me. A lot of people are saying that this is a step back. So far, I'm not so sure. It feels quite good. Um, I'm actually quite a fan of this so far. Um, this feels quite good. Um, I won't lie. These opinions are obviously my own. But I've been quite clear on you know the points that i think they've desperately improved on the viewpoint being a little bit more zoomed out the fact that you can turn off other sounds uh it feels a little bit smoother the net code feels a little bit better they've definitely made some improvements here definitely and i think you know credit where credit's due that is something that needs to be highlighted I'm just going to look at these little artifacts here. Zoltan Cool wrote this. He is long gone. Dearest friend. See what he had to what? say. We had quite the row last I remember. But to amount our collaboration to friendship? It's just like him. He writes as though he destroyed the loom on his way out. But I can feel it humming under our feet. Okay. So my pet's showing some sort of chain logo. I don't know what that's. Uh... That is me. Oh, it's disappeared. We have got I some more points to spend here. Old um, man. How many years have I spent so down here? Let's just have a look. What, what can we stick these into? Got some more points in poison trap. Quite a good AOE. Obviously, when we get to end game, we're probably going to tweak out a lot of this stuff. Um, I, took him. I just like to I pick the points for the abilities that feel good. Malthus. Made me repair the loom. All these years. It. Uh oh, we've got a bit of a boss thing going on here. Uh, right, put some cow traps down. Here we am down. There we go. Beautiful. Easy, boys. I could do with a strong Easy, feet. easy game. Let's go. But I'm still here. I refuse to be a demon's puppet again. Give me a moment. I'll meet you in the gate hall. Right. Okay. Meet me in the gate hall. Where's that? In the great hall. Right, so it's this way. Okay. Like I said, there was a little bit of a delay there. Luckily, I didn't teleport to the wrong door. Season tier complete. Three out of eight objectives for chapter one. Beautiful. Already making some nice progress here. So the seasonal chapters do unlock uh, enhancements for your journey. Some of them are level gated, but nevertheless, they are a nice feature. One thing before we go through the gateway that I'm a little bit concerned about is, um, are we expected to make a new character every season? 
I do feel that, you know, characters are better when you invest time into them. And I've already got a rogue. But for the sake of the season, I'm about to make a new one. I mean, is this going to be a recurring theme moving forward? I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that. But we'll have to see what Blizzard's thoughts and feelings and how they want to do things moving forward. Body stolen, a body made. Interact with the Great Hall Waypoint. There we go. So we've unlocked a new waypoint here. I do believe this is a new area. I've not seen this before. Uh, definitely didn't see it last season. We're going to return to him now. Um, if we can find our way. A bit of a walk. Bit weird, isn't it? Got to walk all the way around. See, that to me just seems like a time-wasting mechanic. I'm not a big fan of this. Like, why do I have to walk all the way around here? Hmm. Yeah. What are you doing? Malfast holds this portal shut. It is the only way down to the loom. Okay. I need you to travel to Skosglen. One of our vaults is buried there, a nursery where the constructs are created and kept. If the demon is producing more constructs, we need to know now. Okay. How do I get there? Normally, that? you could travel by portal, quick as light. But that is not an option. Entering on foot will be tricky. Okay. Find a way to the vault of the copper in Scotsglen. Right, so that's been a little bit of an introduction. We're around, we're level nine currently. We've unlocked the seasonal mechanic. So to summarize so far, the pluses are, feels a lot smoother. The viewpoint seems a little bit more zoomed out. Okay. It's got its own dedicated storyline. Very good. You can disable the error noises. Um, so, I'm intrigued, actually. Um, for me, personally, so far, listening to other YouTubers, I don't think I would have tried it. Um, a lot of negative reviews, a lot of negative feedback. Obviously, I'm only level 9, and there's uh, a lot of endgame and a lot of other stuff to explore, which we will be doing in future episodes. But for me, this is a net positive so far. Feels better to play. Camera angle's a little bit better. Negatives, the pet is a little bit lackluster. Doesn't feel like it does much damage. And, you know, is it a rinse and repeat? Are we just going to be stacking powers? Not sure. Not sure. But this has been my introduction, sort of first thoughts into Season 3 Diablo 4. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And as always, comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And thanks for watching as always.